Come on, Pop. That is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Put your two ring fingers together. These two lights are now joined in one unbroken circle. Wherever the two of you go, may you always return to one another in togetherness. I mean, I'm feeling your feeling right this minute. Isn't it the best? Yes. Being in love with this wonderful man and this wonderful woman. There's not a better feeling. When you're out there driving through the snow and back home, just come back to this moment anytime. You drive, drive in snow, don't yes. you? <laughs> back to this beautiful moment in your mind and I do hope you come back and visit us on the big island often. And may the home, is your home, do you have a home too? Yes. yes. May the home that you continue to create in your truck and at home be a home filled with love and laughter where people love to come and feel your beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, we'll have a short prayer. Aloha Akua, how grateful you are for this most beautiful day. Thank you so much for making it so nice for the blue sky and the birds that are chirping and this beautiful rainforest Chris brought us to. We are so thankful to be surrounded by so much love and so much beauty. We're so thankful for the beautiful, beautiful love we feel between James and Patricia Ann. We're so thankful that she saw that number <laughs> five years ago and through this journey today they're becoming husband and wife. We pray that you may continue to bless them with good health and happiness and prosperity and abundance and all the things they're so deserving of. We're so thankful for their wonderful jobs and ask a special blessing that they may have safety as they travel back and forth across the United States and always be safe. We're so thankful for this sweet snow who brings them so much joy and I don't know how much it's missing them and them missing her, but thankful for Grandma and Grandpa for taking good care of them. We ask a special blessing upon James' mom and the nursing home and hope that she is comfortable and happy there. We're thankful for all your friends and everyone who has touched your life throughout your lives and pray that may we bless each and every one of them. And especially for you too, that you may have a wonderful time on the rest of your cruise and fall more in love each and every day and have a wonderful life together. And these things we say with much aloha and mahalo. Amen. 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 <laughs> and as much as you, James, and you Patricia have consented together in the bonds of wedlock, and have witnessed the same before Chris and I and all the birdies in the tree. <laughs> and have pledged your faith each to the other. By the title vested in me by the state of Hawaii, it is my honor and my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Yeehaw! Kiss your bride. <laughs> I usually, have, I usually have to say, use a little tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it's now my very special privilege to be the first to address you as husband and wife. Does that feel wonderful? Yes. <laughs> I know, it's so exciting. <laughs> and to give you your very first gift as a married couple. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. In the language of flowers, the red rose represents what? Love. Love. And my gift to you both is the gift of love. And I love you. <laughs> and I love you both. <laughs> will, you Thank you. will you please exchange your roses? In this exchange, you've given to each other your very first gift as a married couple, <laughs> which is the gift of love. <laughs> it would be my hope that in your home or in your truck, you'd find an especially pointed place for red roses, and on the anniversary of this day each year, you would remember to place a red rose at the appointed place in remembrance of the vows you've just taken. And you can put flowers there any other time of the year, and I have a feeling you probably do. <laughs> and sometimes when it's occasionally difficult to find words to reserve certain resolve certain issues that come up. We have this thing called pride and ego and stubbornness. I don't know if you've ever heard of those, but sometimes just saying, honey, I'm sorry, it can be a really hard thing to say because of our pride and ego, yeah? If that should ever be the case, if either of you would remember to place a red rose at the appointed place, then the other one will see it and remember what it stands for. Because love is what always makes everything all right. You agree? Okay. I agree. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you this beautiful couple.
<laughs> James and Patricia and Whited. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Hey, I'm married. You're married. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs>